All right, what's up, everyone? Um, I thought I'd just hop in here and make a little deck tech after the fact because um, I was so excited to jump into the league that um, I did not do a deck tech beforehand. Uh, one of these cards is not right. Um, this is the general gist of it. So, Jace Reawakened, new card for Grixis Control. I think it's really powerful. I already wrote an article about it on my Patreon, but in essence... We're looking to take the game long anyways, so having a two-drop Planeswalker that you can't cast until turn four is not really that big of a deal. I also mentioned a few things like this plotted ability is really powerful since a lot of our pivotal turns are trying to resolve a Narset. If we just plot that Narset and free up three mana to win that fight over Narset, it could be pretty good. And it also kind of combos with Valky. Now Valky is a card I've played in Grixis Control in the past, and it's been kind of funny to have a modal card that on its front half could really bother an Uro and its back half just be like a game-ending Planeswalker, albeit a little weak to Hydroblast. And that just totally went out the window when Orcish Bowmasters entered the format. X1s became even weaker than they maybe were beforehand. But now that you can plot Valky with Jace and then next turn just cast Tybalt, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's a good interaction. And it came up a few times this league. I'm really excited for you all to see it. I've already released it on your on my Patreon and um, just wanted to share it with everyone because new cards, new action. Oh, it was a, there was a second Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, that's what it was. Um, yeah. If you want to see more Grixis Control content, please consider checking out my Patreon. I link it down below in the description. I upload tons of Grixis Control leagues and matches there. Yeah, it's only $5 a month and... A lot of people think it's worth it. Anyways, um, please enjoy this league of um, Jace Reawakened in Grixis Control. All right. Day one, Thunder Junction. Seems like everything is working. Uh, we're up against a Wooded Foothill strategy. Mana Bond. Well, they don't have enough cards in hand to, like, get, like, um, what is it, like, 18 zombies? But this card is a problem, specifically combined with the life from the loam. But yeah, they're not going to use it. Cling to dust is going to be huge if that is their proposed engine. Okay, we're looking for that Jace. We want that Jace. Bowmasters is pressure, which is good. Land number three, also probably necessary. I was really hoping for Brainstorm. I mean, um, Force of Will. Let's just see how good this is. I'm going to try and get that combo going. I had a player on Wasteland as well. Windswept Heath. We're going to see a Loam here, or a Mulch. It's Mulch, okay. Yep. Fling. I talk about this. I'm like, oh, okay, unless they have Fling, we're going to be just fine to this uh, Merit Lage. And they actually do have a freaking Fling, so. Got to look out for that. Okay, there's Loam. This might have actually done it for us. Alright, Brainstorm. We can put back probably Colgon's Command and uh, Strix. There's no way we're not hitting that life from the loam right away. Hopefully spiking A. Okay. I was going to say Force of Will, but... That'll do. They have a lot of dead top decks from here. Yeah. I mean, that one's, like, not the most dead because it redraws. But we could be in a lot worse shape. I'm guessing they just drew another land here. Yep. Alright. Show me the Jace. I guess I'll Knight's Whisper first. If 
force of will is nice. Yeah, so what's the point in even brainstorming? Yeah, I already made a land drop. I think the bolt can go. Blast zone. It's pretty annoying. Okay, there's double blue. But yeah, we're just having trouble finding this Jace. But we're gonna find it, goddammit. Narset should be able to help. I'll take another force. See if they want to blast on this thing. Yeah, don't overpay. It's not X or less. There you go. No way they're going to let me do this, right? They let me untap. I mean I don't I don't think I have obstructionists in this deck, but yeah. It would be sad if I hard casted Tibalt before finding a Jace. I'm starting to feel like it's a possibility. Ponder. Okay. Um Brainstorm. Put them on their draw step. Exploration. Uh, it wouldn't have been that great, but I might have wanted to force it. Just because if they ever find Loam, that would be really strong, obviously. Alright, where's the Jace? Okay, time to snap, ponder. This also puts pressure on board, which is kind of a big deal. Still nothing, huh? I mean, I... I don't think I should shuffle this though, it'd be pretty irresponsible. Well, is Shield Edict even that good against this deck? It's probably okay. Yeah, we can just hard cast this Tybalt next turn. Mission was a fail. Maze of Ith, okay. Now you might say this was a non-game, but it was only such because we have Cling to Dust in our main board. That's a big deal. Not a lot of decks have that. Okay, we're not hard casting Tybalt. Okay, next turn we are. Unless they wasteland us. I guess to prevent that I could snap K command. Then between all our force of wills we should be able to...
get over the line with this massive planeswalker. Maybe Snap Knight's Whisper would have been better. I don't need that Bowmasters. I'm just going to deal two damage. It's Yavimaya. Okay. Plus two. Field of the Dead exiled? Hell yeah. That's incredible. I think I just leave it in exile though, because if they wasteland it and then find a um, life from the loam. That would be pretty bad. It's not like I'm going to be able to get any zombies, right? Actually, I could. I think it's worth it. Okay. Is that Jace coming up or not? I know our next card is Swamp. Or I thought it was... Okay, something must have happened. Oh, right, I exiled it. Alright, uh, Murktide Regent. Historically very good against that kind of deck. Force of Despair, I think, is just necessary. Opposition Agent is good. Um, I can't remember if this deck is on Saga. I don't think it is, though. Surgical, of course. And we can cut Lightning Bolt. And yeah, I don't know if Shieldred's Edict is any good. I guess it would help against like a really fast Merit Lage, but they usually have a lot of insulation. I think K-Command can go. Until they show me something like Crucible. Or I could go one-on-one -on -one with Narset. Okay. See if we find a Jace this time. We might want more than two, but I feel like it's kind of like a four drop, and you don't usually run too many of those. Just, I can't, I cannot fathom a hand with like three of these. Like, if you open that up, I feel like you're in some deep trouble. Uh, this hand looks good. We'll have to force a. Mana bond, unless they go to five. Force that. Nice. That's an amazing draw. Can they afford to wasteland me? I might get the Undercity Sewers. Are they going to draw immediately? Ooh, Winding Way. Yep. Draw four. No big deal. No wasteland in there, though. Yep. That's a good one. If Wasteland can fuel our Murktide region too, like, that's not so bad. Oh boy. That is not good. Well, at least they're not 
making a merit lage right now. I'll see if they draw a card. That could be helpful. It's Bayou. Crop rotation. Does this get Thespian stage? Oh, Wasteland, interesting. I don't mind that so much. I'm glad they spent so many resources doing that. I'm gonna brainstorm, even though it's a little risky. Okay, um... I think Narset and Snap go. Then we'll Island Cycle right now. And then we're hitting for two. Not bad. If they can make a Merit Lage, we'll have to figure something out real quick. But if they can't, and they mess around a little bit, this Murktide should um, be two hit shit. Caracas. There's Loam. Getting back Wasteland. Pretty annoying. Because now I'm off black. I could have thought about that. I think I'm probably pondering for a black source now. really wanted that edict, but you gotta fight what's in front of you. Please don't have a spirit guide. That horizon canopy is scaring me. And you gotta pay one to draw a card. Surgical is nice. There's no reading to Surgical Wasteland anymore, though. Okay, getting cross for two is pretty nice. Crop rotation. They probably want, like, what? Thespian stage? Oh, Bojuka Bog. Um, maybe stage is already in their hand? But yeah, it's going to slow us down quite a bit. Savannah Bayou. Once they start making the zombies, we're kind of screwed. Snapcaster Mage. Some more damage. Play Narset. Try and find something cool. Brainstorm is pretty cool. Get him a 10. This is where that reach would have been pretty nice. It's not an option. I assume we're going to see some zombies now. Because I don't think they would have kept an opening hand if they didn't at least have... Oh, okay. Field of the Dead, but maybe not. Maybe they'll do a slow melt. Strix. And I'll buy a turn. Force of Despair. That's a good one. Um, let's brainstorm. There's Jace. Nothing really to plot, though. I like Force of Will. What do I do here? Put back Snap and Jace. Oops. Murktide Regents are pitch. Baleful Strix is our reach. 
because I don't think they fly outside of Merit Lage. If they find a natural stage, we're in some trouble. Loam. I could just force that. What's the point, though? I think I have to, though, because the second they have priority again, I'm just never going to be able to extract that loam. I can't draw right now. Okay. Rootbound Crag. That's cool. Okay, their last card is Dark Depths. Three Field of the Dead. We should be able to make this happen. If they draw Field of the Dead, I want to be able to cast this Force of Despair. And we finally got to cast the new Jace. Pretty darn good. Two mana Planeswalker. Okay, this is what I was talking about. They can still make, what, two more? Is it going to get any better, though? I can spend my mana. And that would ask them to spend life as well, so... I'll take this. Like, at this point, if the... If these things just deal, like, one damage each, that's totally fine. Jay's coming in huge here. Not to mention, that minus six is coming up. Can you imagine doubling a K command? So I'm glad I actually got to cast this thing, but obviously it didn't do exactly what we wanted it to. Not how we drew it up, but I think that's good because it shows that um, even outside of its like silly combo thing that we set up, it's doing some really cool stuff. GG's opponent. Alright, on to the next one. Here we go in round number two. Hand is acceptable. Whoa. A little sneak peek for some future stuff here. Oh, I might have picked the wrong binder. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to try Ancestral Vision. Why not? Sorry, opponent. Can plot it. Okay, we hit a blue card. That's good. Against this Ancient Tomb strategy. Valky. This might be a shuffle. Even though there's a red source. I'm going to shuffle. Okay. We hit the best card out of that ponder anyways. And it looks like the templating is back to how it was. Ooh, that's a lot of mana. 
One ring. Force of will. Did I shuffle? It sure did. Um, okay. It's back. Um, nothing to be done about this, really. I could spike a force of will, I guess. Brazen Barber. Could be good. Seems like this might be show and tell. Looking for Narset here. Colgon's command. Okay. Could snap ponder. Probably have to. Onboard pressure's not bad against a ring either. Bowmasters might be just as good. We'll see, though. I don't really anticipate surviving the next turn. I can hear the gears turning over there. Rate of play has slowed down quite a bit. Chromox. Yeah, show and tell almost confirmed here. Got a Traxa. Some blue six drop incoming. Could be Lorien revealed. It is Lorien revealed. Could be a lot worse, honestly. They already had a million cards. And this might just be a measure to not go to discard here. Green mana up. Does this mean they have another Veil of Summer? There's a weird world in which they show and tell. Oh wait, yeah, and they I put in Bowmasters. They put in Omniscience, and I can bounce their Omniscience while this ETB is messing with the priority. I also have Edict, which dodges Veil. They're not really going to give me the chance here, though. Gotta try. Sure. I'll shoot myself. Still above 15. Now these incompetent orcs will be firing arrows at themselves. While well, I have um, lethal on board, right? Well, if they don't reset their ring. They're resetting the ring.
down to seven. Ooh, sorry, I might have been loud. <laughs> Effectively six. And passing. Okay, I really don't think we'll survive the next turn then. Let's see what they dump here. Two ancient tombs. We're drawing a land. Okay. That's two veils down. I'm just saying, there is a weird world in which this works out. This will put them to four. We do have the reach with K command. If they have to pay one life for each force of will. Our triggers are resolving. Do they not have another veil? If they tap ancient tomb, we can also get them with K command. They have an omniscience though, there's no reason to show and tell or um tap that tomb. And if they just reset their ring again, this could work out. They've seen a lot of cards. Cantripping is not free until they find Veil. Vale. And if they swing with Emrakul, there's a weird world in which I can flash in Brazen Borrower. Sacrifice pretty much all my permanents, except probably Bowmasters. Chromox, sure. Pitching Force of Will. What does that say about their hand? White mana. Black mana. Green mana, blue mana, need one more. Atraxa. I could bounce or edict this. All right, I think the new plan is to try and set up a double K command here. Mind over matter. Now we're going to have to hope they just don't have the resources to pull this off. Or they have to pass the turn. They didn't play sneak attack. They might not have sneak attack. Let's have you discard. Because someone's going to win or lose next turn. No point going after these chrome oxen. All right, force is off. And they already used a few lotus petals. Uh-oh. Ancient tomb is off. There's one petal. They've already made a land drop. I'm not seeing this come together with what they flipped off a of Traxa.
Bowmaster is a pretty hard carry there. Red Blast is great. Thought Seize is great. I love having three. It's mostly just because, you know, new cards necessitate more information. But it's really nice in this matchup. Surgical is also not that bad in this kind of all-in version. You can really cripple them if you take out Show and Tell. Even though they did hard cast into Traxa of that game. Force of Despair deals with Emrakul and Atraxa, but otherwise not that great. I don't think they are a sneak attack, sneak attack build. Sneak attack. Lightning Bolt would have been pretty good there, but generally not what you want for this matchup. Especially in non-red builds where they won't have like Magus of the Moon or Fury. We might also want to cut this Valky Jace package. Oh, I think I can probably part with Kling first. Does this look good? Maybe trade a K command for a Force of Despair. They also showed me Intuition though, so they're probably going to have a really hard time dealing with Opposition Agent. Not to mention it's a 3 power attacker. Maybe Knight's Whisper is just a little too, too cute. We're not looking to grind, we're looking to... Uh, win as soon as possible. Also, Valky is not a dead discard spell, since they're really looking to put in creatures a lot of the time. If we can just strip their hand of an Atraxa, or Emrakul, at that point they'll need to show and tell an Omniscience. There's no red mana, but we do have Fluster Storm. And like I said, Valky is not dead. Oh god. Jesus. Scared the hell out of me. Another Narset. Alright. They can still send this if they have a uh, Veil of Summer. Mm, they can still send this. Flusterstorm not looking so hot anymore. Let's brainstorm. Force of Will is really nice. Okay. Um, go like that. Search out Volcanic Island. Three layers of protection here is insane. Fluster will have to come at the end, though. One ring. Force of will. Fluster storm. Your veil of summer. And like fighting over this is not even that big of a deal either, considering. Narset will shut this down, and then they're kind of just taking one a turn for nothing. With that in mind, I might want to surveil instead. Yeah. Can I afford to cast this Narset right now? It's kind of risky. But am I really counting on just like hitting a land next turn? That's really the only reason why I wouldn't just continually time walk myself here. Um, I'll take Ponder. Okay. Seems we've paralyzed them somehow. It's good. It's very good. Hmm. Their hand is very good. 
I think we take Veil here. Or no, I think we take Flusterstorm. Is that even true? I think we take show and tell. And then we Valky the Atraxa. And now they're two draws away from comboing. At least. Shuffle. Okay. They have a lot of dead draws going forward. And if we hit another land drop on turn seven, I guess we can all of a sudden have a 7-7 seven, seven lifelink. Okay. Which will effectively make their Ancient Tombs a bit of a liability. And they're really choked on colored mana here. So even though they can pay for Flusterstorm copies for days... And I think we should end step this just because we want to hold up our interaction. Jace reawakened. Yes, please. Ditch Fluster Storm there. No ring is good. That should be lethal. Unless they have um, Spirit Guide, Monomorphos. Stifle. I would like to screenshot this. Or, yeah. All right. See ya in round three. Round three, I got a Thought Seize and two Strixes. It's a high value hand. Let's see what Valky can do here. Okay, we're up against this deck. I don't think the Thought Seize really changes anything, so it's quite clearly Beseech the Mirror. Even though it'll be hard for them to pay off these Chrome Moxes. But I mean, yeah, if they just top deck any kind of mana source, we're going to be in huge trouble. Strix will be able to beat up on these Construct tokens. And if they take time to Thought Seize me, then we're just feeling great. They might even take one of our Strix here. Not a great thought sees. Cling to dust, very nice draw. Let's get on board though. Possibly find more land drops. Shield Edict is not bad.
Saga. And pass. All right. Bowmasters. Some good insulation against uh, a wheel if I can get them to low enough life. And that is tempting to play Valky for that reason. If they had commit a Chrome Mox, then these constructs arrive as 4-4. Four, four. They have Mox Opal. That's even better. No imprint, yeah. Might as well play the next one too, I guess, unless you want to hang on to it for some storm count. And with a Beseech already in the graveyard, we need to start working on these. I will bolt a Bowmaster. Force of Will. No blue card. Another Edict. It's not bad. Five five, no big deal. I don't think this deck runs Shadow Spear. I don't think there's room for it. What they draw a miracle? Got Temporal Mastery. I could edict this, but I'm pretty committed to trading a Strix for one anyways. They usually go for LED here. Opal Storm. Bowmasters. It's pretty bad. Um, yeah, I can't really swing for anything here, so I guess I'm just chump blocking. And then... What else? I could also shoot their token, so I can start edicting these constructs. Then I could bolt Bowmaster if I really have to. Okay. Piling on the Hurt. That is fine. No imprint. So they're pretty light on mana. And because they are a wheels deck, I'm going to try and keep Bowmaster on for a little bit anyways. Okay, a land or four, or a blue card would be nice. Cool. I'll take it. Slight problem is that if I do have to bolt this Bowmaster, it'll take me off double blue. So I guess if I draw Jace, it's just going to be a blue pitch until further notice. Yeah, if their last cards are Beseech and Ritual, we're in some trouble. But I feel like they might have tried to send that last turn. All the while trying to dodge another Saga. Okay, now all of a sudden they do have three mana, so things are getting a little scary around here. I think I'm down to trade Bowmasters. Well, I do have the Bolt. Yeah, I think I'll take six. Blue 
blue card is nice. Cool. All of a sudden, we're not feeling so bad. It's possible I should have pondered there, but I think I want one more draw step first. Because things could get real weird. Like, they could cast, like, Beseech the Mirror or something. Do I let this resolve? Do I counter the, the thing that comes out of it? I think so. They have, like, so little storm. Like, what if I had pondered and missed on blue card? Nightmare. Okay, now they're getting a, a little more storm. We gotta be careful not to die to tendrils. But if I can get their last Beseech gone... They kinda do have to Beseech Storm though, because they don't have any... Well, no, they don't. Well, they have one Petal and an Urza Saga, but no Rituals. So can they really get the party started? If they just go for empty right now, I'm going to feel really stupid. Which, shoot, they might actually do because... Um... Tendrils might not be lethal. Yeah, I might have screwed this up. Okay, cool. Thank God. That was a bit of a game of chicken there. Okay, all their besieges are gone now. That's good. More Bowmasters. I think that's better than running out Valky. Although, holding Bowmaster to fight their Bowmasters wouldn't be that bad. And they have a lot of dead draws from here. Cool. So, Flusterstorm, Murktide Regent. Force of Despair is interesting. Opposition Agent's good, although be careful when you cast this versus Besiege, because it is a replacement effect since Besiege puts the card in exile. So, yeah, don't give them a card they want to cast. We can Meltdown. Meltdown's good. Thoughtseize number three, also good. Surgical Extraction, good. We have a lot to do. We can even bring in Red Blast, even though it's pretty narrow. It only hits um, the wheel, and I think we have enough good stuff here anyways. Edicts can go. Bolts are interesting, because we do have Bowmasters to fight Bowmasters. Knight's Whisper, again. We're not trying to grind. We're trying to survive and supersede. Brazen Borrow has a lot of utility. 3-1 Flash Beater is great, and then Bouncing a Construct or something, Army Token, that kind of thing. Yeah, let's cut, cut Valky. It doesn't have the utility that it did in the last matchup, and I guess just two Lightning Bolts and call it good. I'll take one Force of Despair. You want, like, one out to empty the Warns. Is it just Jace, I wonder? Turn four play. I'll maybe I'll bring that in on the play. I don't know. Hands a little sketchy, but they're taking a mulligan. And there's really no point to try to mulligan to like a force of will and they can strip it. I think the the idea is probably they probably want to try and fight me with saga tokens. That's probably their best bet. And we do have that wrapped with meltdown. So we'll see what happens. Oh god. They're just sending. We're 
Rust. Man, this was so incredibly all in. It's going to do it this time, though. It would have been funny to wait until now to force. I guess we could have. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is good. That was insane. No regard for force of will. I respect it, though. I feel like when you take those swings, sometimes it really pays out. Um, not getting God again, that's for sure. They're good on seven over there too. It's a little concerning. Saga. Lotus Petal. Pass. Land. Awesome. That's what we wanted. And yeah, I assume on the draw, like, it's probably best for them to try and fight me like that. I'll take that. Now, are they going to use these petals to make Saga tokens? We can blow them out with Cake Man pretty well like that. Yep. Yeah, let's just Cake Command here. I almost want to hit their Vault, though, because then it might be really hard for them to bargain and beseech. And we can deal with, like, a little construct. Or wait, no, they're getting a... Cr they are getting an artifact anyways off this. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's still correct, though. You definitely want to limit Storm's resources. Dark Ritual. Beseech. Guys will. I will have to counter that. And I think I'd rather have Brainstorm over Narset here. Okay, they're pretty low resources. Island is good. Jace is very good. Is it better than starting to clock, though? Probably. Tough one. 
I should tell them something about my hand, though. Although Kling is not really relevant hate anymore because they've spent their guy's will. Doesn't matter, though. All right. We've won the die roll. Hand is a little underwhelming, but we do have a two for one here. And we have like stable mana. Against an opponent that's mulliganing though. We might regret not having permission or selection. We'll see. If we just fire a Knight's Whisper on turn two after his surveilling, they might think we're Doomsday. Misty Rainforest, go. Let's see if they want to stifle. No. Okay, I'll take that force. Yeah. Love that. Two mana, two draw two. It's kind of busted. If you really think about it. People have been looking for that fabled two mana draw two for ages. Now our like opening hand looks pretty good, doesn't it? No up the beanstalk. Yeah, now it literally feels like we were on the draw while we're up on lands. Knight's Whisper. Who would have known? It's like the ultimate turn to play. This double rainforest no play start is really concerning me though. And they have a tropical island. And a bayou, oh boy. Okay, not upset to see that at all. They might have pegged us for Doomsday, and now this unprovoked Bowmasters is going to really help us out if we ever find our own Bowmasters. I wonder if Brazen Barber is going to get any better. Could just bounce this army. They might have another Bowmasters. And if this is what I think it is, it's traditionally a Wasteland deck. Alright, taking one is acceptable. Unfortunately, they haven't been sculpting at all, so we haven't gotten them to sculpt um, ineffectively, essentially. Even though we did kind of look like Doomsday for our hot second there. Now we look like Grixis Control with a Knight's Whisper for some reason. <laughs> Their hesitancy to fire a beanstalk here makes me think they probably don't have days. And then again. Diabolic Intent. That's cool. I'm not going to counter the tutor. I'm going to counter what they get with the tutor.
Diabolic Intent. That is damn near a DT when you have a lot of expendable orc tokens hanging around. I mean, yeah, no. I almost did it. I almost did it. I almost did something really bad. I almost fired the unprovoked bowmasters. Because they might have, like, fatal push or something. Or even worse, their own bowmasters. But I wonder what they DT'd for. They might have DT'd for... Brainstorm. Their hand just might be really underwhelming and they want to move some stuff around. Oh wow, no land drop. That kind of makes me want to flash in this Brazen Borrower. It'll give me something to do. With K Command if they answer it. Hmm. Yeah, I do want to move some things around, honestly. This Lorian revealed is kind of bumming me out. It's not bumming me out that much, though. I'm going to go like that. No surveil. No bowmasters. If they cast an Uro, I feel like I'm going to have to cast bowmasters just to try and keep up with the life gain. Brainstorm's good. They must be getting close on what they want to do, though. They've just seen so many cards. And they DT'd. They probably at least have a forest and just didn't want to spend it on my beater. Ooh, basic forest. Okay, maybe this isn't bug beanstalk. We could be up against something entirely different here. Alright, if they stifle this mire, it's honestly not that bad. Okay, they don't. Because we would have ended up with a brainstorm anyways. Shieldred's Edict, okay. Could be pretty good. Endurance. My worst enemy. Targeting me? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna let that resolve. Then I'm gonna Edict. Main board Endurance. What does this world come to? That is worth a force to them. Pitching Spellseeker. Okay, well I'm done fighting over this. I think I'll just K-Command instead and have them discard. Because I don't think I'll be lacking for beat stick action. They drop force. So either they didn't have a blue card or they didn't want to go down to two cards after their draw step. Oh, great. That's a problem. Everything was going great until they had the card that would make you, you know, want to be in these colors, anyways. Ooh, Veteran Explorer. I would not mind some basics in my life. Chase reawakened. Okay, how about... Yeah.
All right. Likely going to force Uro here. Then we haven't come up with Cling to Dust yet, so it feels like it should be on the horizon. Thought sees you. Will I? Maybe not. Could snap Lorien, but it's not protected anymore. Okay. It's Night's Whisper. Dang it. Oh, that's not good. I mean, Tybalt can definitely outpace Uro. Might as well do this now. Not to mention if they Uro into these two Bowmasters, my army token will be a 6-6. And they might have to think about trading with Uro. Cabal Therapy me. They named Force of Will, sure. We're gonna get comboed? Shoot. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I think that's a combo. Ah, uh, we got a Lurend. We got a Lurend? I should have seen the signs. And me without a force or anything. We are pretty ahead on clock, though, and I'm 3-0, and so I'm not letting anything slide here. Yep, that's the bad room. Jeez. If I had one more mana, I could have edicted that lich when it was... Yeah, there's nothing to be done. I'm just going to have six here. I don't hate my Aluren matchup, but... Dang. I felt so in control of this game, too. That Uro is such a distraction. And there's no way that they're going to... Tomb of Annihilation? You're not even in the Tomb of Annihilation. Wait, hold on. Can't I... Can't... Wait, can't I cast my Snapcaster Mage for free? Did I just totally screw this up? Am I a complete idiot? Did, did I forget about Aluren? Um, I guess better late than never, right?
Jeez, I feel dumb. Everything's been getting to me. Okay, so that's there. Cast Snapcaster Mage. Target Edict. Sacrifice a non-token creature. Gave him a bunch of goblins for no reason. Wait, what? Oh, they just had two? Okay, fine. <laughs> I don't feel as bad anymore. That's some bullshit. They had two. So I assume those draw card triggers are never going to happen because they can loop this in such a way that they can just um, get those drain triggers to happen. I feel really dumb that I didn't catch that earlier, but also I'm glad they just had two of them. Because if I had thrown that game because of that, man, I don't know what I would have done. Especially when I'm 3-0. But we're like two minutes up on clock. Allure can get pretty darn grindy. Especially when, I mean, it's sad I don't have Plague Engineer anymore, because that was like something that really gave the Allure player a headache. But we could still do some stuff here. Alright, they're almost there. See if we can get them sub-15, though. Damn, I can't believe they had two. Seems like a really bad card to stumble onto when you don't have an Aluren. Alright, they did it just above 15 there. So, yeah, we're about three minutes up on clock, which is really nice. Hmm. If they're going to play Diabolic Content, I want Opposition Agent. I also want Surgical Extraction. I don't have a Spell Pierce, unfortunately, so... We might need to leave our forces in. Green Enchantments, historically really difficult for Grixis Control to beat. Valky seems really good. If I had a Valky and a Snapcaster Mage there, I mean, I definitely would have just plotted the Valky. But if I didn't for some weird reason, like if I would found Valky off that loot, I could have taken the second Aceric, right? Or wait, no, they would have just cast the Aceric. What are my cuts? I can probably trim one Lightning Bolt, or two. And usually a land is, fi is a fine cut as well, since they... Well, our, we don't even have any 4-drops anymore. They might really struggle to deal with the Murktide region as well. Which, if we had one of those in that game, I think we probably would have won a long time ago. Yeah, man. You only really get got by Aluren once, though. And it's such a, like pretty rare meta deck that it's not always on my radar. It's always my first inclination to think like blue, or yeah, Sultai control, bug control, a bug pile. They might bring in Hydro Blast. So I'm going to trim one Colgon's command as well. Oh no! Mulligan. Ay ay ay. Having force is better than going to five. But this is really bad. He 
Yep. I'm interested why they fought so hard over that um, endurance, though. Uh-oh. Um, when they had a combo in their deck. Living Wish. Yeah, it's fine. Living Wish for Orcish Bowmasters. Yeah, that's fine. It's not too late to draw land. Just saying. Thank you. Alright, let's get this Strix trigger in. Before they Bowmaster. Brazen Barber. Might see main phase Bowmasters here. You got it. Four mana Bowmasters. I kid. Another force. Okay. I'm just going to look pathetic. Maybe they'll can trip into this. It's acceptable to fire your Bowmasters into a can trip when your opponent already has a target on board. Yep, I have nothing. I, pro I promise. Ooh, Grist. I can't really beat Grist. Well, I can. Kind of. I can edict it. They'll get a bug. No one likes that. I think it's fine. I mean, it's not, but you know what I mean. Sacrifice a Planeswalker. Cool. They did not mill an Uro. Thank you. Land. Polygon's command. Alright. Still waiting for them to cantrip here. I'll take another three. They're not even playing a land? Person's truly sick. They're forcing that. Um, pitching an Uro? That's cool. I'm gonna force back. Ice Fang Kutai. They're sneaking their triggers in too. Um, this is acceptable. Although, they do have quite a board now. Okay. Should be able to pull this off. Gotta do this now. No Hydro Blast. I'm assuming their hand is like a Lauren brainstorm. All right, fine. It's not a fetch land. I'll let the record show it's not a fetch land. Green sun for two. What does that get? Not Bowmasters. It could just get another Kutai, which is annoying, but... Yeah, how can I force that? Yeah, had a feeling. That flying is not good, though. I'm at nine. Another Ponder.
I'm almost certainly going to cast Bowmasters here. Okay, I mean... This is not bad. We're going to play on really low resources. And we'll see if they can, like, afford to avoid or ignore Jace or if Jace gains us some life. We'll see. There's another land. Okay. Full send. Um, block your insect. Try and keep Bowmasters around for one more turn. Counter your Lurin. Does it work? It does. Wow. Cast Jace. Um, I think I need to get rid of Thoughtseize here. Should I Surgical Lurens? Then we're just going to play... Yeah. This is pretty unhinged. Oh! I mean, they had the other thing you really want a surgical in their hand, but if I can just not get comboed, and if they play Uro, I can pick off their pressure. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. This could get really interesting. Dried Arbor is scary. They're racing towards the end. Yeah, they don't care about me. Or they don't care about Jace. Um, I can't let them play Uro for free. I kind of believe in my deck. I kind of really do. Shit. Well, that's a bummer. They're gonna get to Uro for free. It might be hard for them to escape it, though, without another land drop. Block your arbor. Okay. Didn't matter anyways. Snapcaster Mage would be a great draw. I would really appreciate a Snapcaster Mage, please. The hell is this? Oh, okay. Snapcaster Mage? Under City Sewers, yikes. Brainstorm. If any card could do it, it's Brainstorm. Bowmasters is good. As is Lightning Bolt. Yeah, what if I um just do a crazy Jace turn that minus six? Escaping Uro is real rough.
hanging in there. And is it even worth minus sixing here? Okay, they're down to trade armies. Probably escaping a row. I wonder if I should cash in Jace. Because it could be a pretty insane turn. Yeah, Bolt would kill Uro, or send it back to the graveyard at least. Uh-oh, what's this? Ominous. Let's go. Yeah, double Bowmasters. Seems pretty good, right? Double Snapcaster Mage. I don't have the mana to pay that out. Cling to Dust. Okay, that's even better, though. Double Bowmasters is so cool, but I just have to deal with this Uro. Yeah, same targets. I wonder if I same targets this, because if they can answer one of them... Hmm, probably not. We'll see, though. Yeah, they're like F6'd. Okay. Not bad. All of a sudden I'm at 5 life again, too. Fell behind on clock throughout all that madness. What's this? Green Suns? Yeah, pretty good. They can escape it right away, too. I think I messed up. I think I was supposed to double Snapcaster Mage and then Surgical. I would have had to. No, I wouldn't have had the life to do that. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Didn't totally screw up. Alright, so do I draw these Bowmasters? Yeah, probably. Okay.
Oh, wow. That was so bad. Oh, my God. How did I mess that up? Oh, what is wrong with me? It's hard to ever not have a blocker against Uro, though, when you have Bowmasters. What are they going for here? Living Wish? All are... They have even more Bowmasters in their sideboard? Do they have Plague Engineer? Brazen Barber. That could be worse. Cabal therapy. You don't know what's in my hand. Yeah, there's no way I'm casting that right now. Um, take a Badlands. Oh, are they going to bounce a Bowmaster in response? No. <laughs> Killer Among Us. Well, we held off Uro. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think it's responsible to cast that Surgical, unfortunately. Merktide Regent. That's a good one. Worth noting, it's just going to get bounced, though, so... Let's just make it, like, too big for blocking. Hmm, no petty theft. Maybe they're trying to set up a turn where they take... or where they deal more damage. Force of Will. Well, if I spike a blue card off Cling to Dust, that could be pretty darn good. It's worth a shot. Valky. Unfortunate. Well, now I do have a blue card. Hope you don't have another one. They'll never hit. But maybe they want to cash in their Uro. Might kind of be worth it. Green Sun for one. Is this Veteran Explorer? Yeah. They're not taking Valky. This is what we came to do. No! Well, I'm sad now. Maybe they'll endurance us. 
What a weird stare down we're in now. Did I even bring in Pyroblast? No. Maybe I should have. If I start approaching 7 mana, though, they'll probably want to, like, deal with this thing, right? I don't know. Seems like you might want to. Unless they just have more counter magic. I'm going to cling your Cabal Therapy. Thoughtseize? No thanks. Jesus Christ. Cling to dust is nice. Diabolic intent. Hmm. What do they go for here? Bowmasters? Asterisk. Hmm. Wonder if they have a way to drain me out eventually. It does seem like a grindy nightmare. What's the next room? A goblin lair or a treasure token? Yeah. They might try to overrun us here. Alright. The uh, commentary might get a bit shit here. Because I'm going to start playing really fast. Okay. Probably should have done that first. Being behind on clock sucks. We're really just going to start passing back and forth.
giving someone bowmaster triggers is a sure way to get them to time out. Living wish. Uh, might want to brainstorm before they cast a bowmasters. Oh, endurance. Okay. Another Valky. That could exile an endurance. Putting their whole thing back in their deck is pretty good. What's this? Green Sun for three. For Grist, maybe? Oh, another endurance? Sure. <clears throat> ah! All right, see what happens here. Spell Seeker, do they have a removal spell? I mean, they could just get like a Bowmasters and swing for lethal. That might've been loose as hell of me. Yeah, with the Bloom Command, okay. Yeah, I definitely started playing very poorly. Once I realized the clock was um, just about out. Okay. No trophy, the first outing with Jace. Um, well, let's try and finish this out, huh? All right. Whew. That last match was insane. I think there was definitely a way to pull it off. I just, like, did not keep it together at all. We're up against Leyline Draco, probably. This Edict is really nice for that. Especially when they have two Ley Lines, it's kind of... It's not great when they have two Ley Lines for them. They usually want one, and then hopefully your opponent just never removes it. Yeah, this looks good. Next turn, I'll likely... Island Cycle and Thought Seize. And if they have protect if they can protect their Scion through that. Or have multiple. Yeah, what I'm saying is that I want Thought Seize to in some way trade for Scion. Yeah, it would have been really interesting if that went to game three. Which I think it probably would have if I just, like... They had the, the Force of Will to turn, had Jace reawakened. If I had Thought Seized before casting Tybalt... Yeah, there's just so many dumb things I did when the clock was running really low. Okay, they don't have a land drop. I don't know what that means. That's just absolute insanity, right? Or is this like a new brew? <laughs> okay. Um, why didn't they play a land? Oh, they meant to play a land. Okay. And the fact that they have a force there, um, we're very fortunate that they did not do that first. We need some help here. Okay, force of will is good, but we don't have a blue card, so I suppose I should Knight's Whisper here. Still no blue card. Okay. Colgon's command usually is super good against Scion, except not when it has Hexproof. They're brainstorming. 
Yeah, they can reasonably expect to hit another blue card. I don't think this will take them off for us. There it is. Cantrip. There we go. All right, now can we assemble our combo? Our sweet, sweet combo? Oh God, it's not over yet, huh? Fortunately, this card's not that good. Bin it. Ooh. Hmm. Taking five definitely hurts. But yeah, let's see what they do. They probably have another land in there, right? Well, they didn't play one last turn. So maybe not. Forgot I took all these stops out. Mm, I guess you don't need a damage stop, really. Brainstorm. Hmm, Narsa, that's pretty good. It does make me kind of want to trade down for this thing right now. They're more likely to want to counter the Bowmasters, so I won't even commit the bold if this gets countered. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about that insane punt on Uro too. Wait, why can't I... Did I cast these too late? the hell's going on? Uh, sorry, everyone. I don't know what the hell's happening right now. Um, that was terrible. I don't know why I couldn't block. Narset. Miss. That almost never happens. I swear. Thought sees you. Sure. Well, this game just got weird. Now, did they draw that for turn, or could I have actually prevented this? Okay, they're ignoring me. That's interesting. I guess in an absolute emergency, I can double bolt. Strix is much better, though. All 
I wish I could hold off this block until I can also hit it with a cling, but not really an option. Hmm. That's strange. So they put a card on top of their library. What was it? Is it Force Negation? Well, if they Miracle St. Catherine, I can hardcast Force. Does this deck play Days? I don't think they would have topped a Days. Tight. Probably want another Narset, right? Take a brainstorm. Black Mana. Set up Ponder. That must have been what they topped. Right? Actually, we have no idea what they topped. Or do we? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's a good one. Still no Jace reawakened. This Colgon's command is fucking fire, though. Oh, pardon my language. Merktide. I mean, that wouldn't have been all that effective anyways, but... I mean, it would have cost me some removal. Force of Will, nice. Hmm. They're at 34. I need to find something more impactful, I think. Another K command. Yeah, we'll do the the old time walk shuffle, I guess. Will we though? I don't know. Yeah. There just would have been no good other mode. Yikes. Well, let's start this uh Long, slow fight. You're at 33. Guess I'll hit what? Force of Will? I think these decks are normally Beanstalk decks as well. Probably never casting that Thought Seize. If I ever get just like super up on cards in hand, I might want to just gain three life. Snapcaster Mage is back. Tibalt would be nice. No Tibalt. Okay, Bowmasters is also pretty nice. Let's put back a Lightning Bolt. Even on a turn with like a Jace ultimate, that's just six damage. I think I will gain three here. 
just opens up a lot of stuff. I want to shuffle and I also want to be able to cast force for free. I feel like we're seeing the same cards over and over again, no matter how much we try and get rid of them. Okay, there's Jace. Almost there. It being turn 14, I'm allowed to cast it. I can also just hard cast Tybalt, though, so like... What are we really doing here? I mean, if you can cast a 7 mana spell for no mana, you probably should. There's also only 17 cards left in my library. Gotta deal this damage somehow. I think they have a counter spell. I probably just let it go. Do I though? Minus 6 given that there's all, every bolt in my deck still. And I can beat up on their ways of winning. I have an Edict and stuff. Solitude. How many forces is that? Not enough to make me want to mess around with a draw step K command, that's for sure. feel a lot better now that they're down to zero cards again. Alright. So my deck is like mostly Lightning Bolt right now. I feel like there was probably a way for me to win in that last game when I had the Jace ultimate active. Okay, they don't shuffle. I feel like that's really concerning. Okay, I'll probably just draw step K command them. Ooh, Valky. Oh, everyone can read that, huh? Not much of a plot. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, I think I think it gets plotted face up. 
cool, I guess. There's no point in copying a Tybalt, though. So maybe I should have plotted K command. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll figure this out. Leyline binding. No. Yeah, who did they go after? Narset? Okay, well, I mean, we can still have our insane turn, I guess. If it's even good. I don't know if I'll be able to deal 27. Might want to wait till there's more bolts in the mix. Hmm. Well, let's do this thing, I guess. Up the beanstalk? Don't mind if I do. Now let's plot this Snapcaster Mage. Hmm. Yeah, I think my deck is like mostly Lightning Bolt now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Could get double triumph. Seems kind of good. I think we can do better, though. It's going to proc this beanstalk. I just don't want to do this until I have a lightning bolt. It could be really greedy. Okay, there we go. And I think I should just cast this, though. Oh, they might have drawn force of will. Sure. Okay. I think I'll probably flash in Brazen Borrower. Ponder. Okay, never mind. I think Bowmasters is probably worth more. And boy, do we need damage here. Okay, we finally get a shuffle out of them. Even if they play a Scion, I'll just Edict. Okay, they hit a land. I think we're good. Let's see if I can find my other two bolts, though. Falky. I mean, is this just as good, though? Yeah, probably. like a damn combo player okay so why don't we start with bowmasters oh wait i don't have any bowmasters god damn it wait i should right i feel like i'm going nuts huh 
Um, Got to be careful not to cast a brainstorm, though. Okay, cast Ponder. Okay, there they all are. Another Jace. So yeah, it's collapse that a little bit. I can afford to cast one more ponder, but I should probably see. If this is possible. I think it is. Um, now what? Let's just start bolting. Yeah, I was faster at doing math, I think. I probably could have a lot more time on my clock right now. Let's just end it. That was pretty crazy, though. I think that's the most powerful thing my deck has ever done. Man, if I didn't mess up first turn and then took out your Narset, I could have maybe won. Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, opponent's deck didn't really... Well, that's not even true. Like, we stopped them. They had a Scion. They had a Triumph of St. Catherine. We did our thing. <laughs> Can't believe that just happened. It's not really the kind of deck... This is the flashiest Grixis control has ever looked, hands down. Lightning Bolt's no good. I'll take another Force, just because it's going to be hard to destroy their creatures. And I feel like this might be our only chance to like hit Scion. I don't want Merktide either. They have Swords. I don't know why I sided that in. They might have Hydro Blast as well. While Kolgon's Command is good against Scion most of the time, if they have a Ley Line, that would be rough. You can cut a land too. On the draw, anyways. Okay. Gotta play a little quickly again. I've never had such trouble with the clock until today, which makes sense, I guess, when you're playing with new cards. And what new cards they are, right? Jesus. Mad Jace Ultimate is insane. Absolutely insane. I'm going to keep this Thoughtseize hand. Especially when they mulligan. Yield through my turn. Down to five. Chasing that ley line, which means hopefully we can. Strip their um, Stion. Yeah, if they mull to Leyline, land, land, Scion. Okay, they don't have the Leyline. Good news. Another land is not great. Getting stifled? Okay. Thought sees you. Um, take your binding. Hand's pretty weak. It's not really the four you're hoping for. I 
Then again, if they had just ripped like up the beanstalk, we would have been in some serious trouble. Ponder. Looking for Brainstorm right now. Pyroblast is also pretty good. Then Valky is for later. And we hit the Brainstorm. Things are really coming together here. Probably save that for Murktide, however. Yeah. The clock strikes again. I think I probably should have put Valky in hand just in case they play Scion here. Alright, next turn we can cast Jace. If we can find a Jace, we might want more Jaces. This is crazy. We might want more Jaces. Hmm. I'll hang on to one Pyroblast. Start the clock. Yep, this is a fine exchange for us. Force of Will is nice. Would rather have Jace, but that's okay. I also want to hold off on... Maybe I was supposed to Thoughtseize there. I don't know. Binning Force. Yeah, they likely can't afford to do that. Here comes Murktide. I could force it to spare this. Just because it might be hard to get it to line up in any other way. But Pyroblast is just so good. Yeah, do I even care about a Scion? I think this is correct, actually. Uh, I will keep that actually. It's working towards that Val that um to bolt. Yeah, we're in this weird spot where almost no draw is bad. And given that their last card is probably a land. Leyline. Sure. Don't think that's worth fighting over. It's an enabler, but we can also just fight the things that it is enabling. Now we're going to open ourselves up to the fluster storm here, but I feel like the time walk is pretty nice. All right, our clock is out of control. And next turn, if we hit a land, we can cast Tibalt with Force back up. Leyline Binding, sure. That's a Leyline building, <laughs> Binding not aimed for Tibalt. Probably Surveilling here. No. They might just recast their ley line. I don't think you can put two blue into it, though. You can put all the green you want into it, but I think you can only use one blue. Yep. 
Now I can pyroblast that leyline binding, but we still have onboard pressure. We can afford to be a little more patient. Cling to dust is another grindy hammer. Oh no, not the lag. Please. Is my internet down? No. Okay. Whew. Would have been a damn shame to lose out on that 4-1 because of the clock. Another Valky? Well, I might as well cast it then. Sure. All right, we ran them out of cards. Not afraid of a scion. Wish I had a surveil. Ponder. Here we go. Alright, so the next turn we'll cast a Tybalt, and we'll protect it with Force of Will and Force of Despair, both on the cool cast. The hell is this? Lorien revealed? I mean, yeah, that's fine. I don't think they'll have the mana to pay this out. Narset. That might even be better. Especially if I can hit Jace Reawakened off it. Yep. Which is kind of likely. Like, if I look at four cards, that's half my deck, and I run two, so yeah, mathematically, it feels like there should be a Jace Reawakened. No. I will take that edict, though. Seems good. The dream would be if they just cast, like, three Scions. <laughs> that would be insane. Okay, there's Triumph. See if they can commit a few more things here. Tybalt just blasting this thing into exile is also pretty cool. Then you can cast it. Tybalt is a very good planeswalker. The only problem is that it casts 7 mana. Costs 7 mana. Um, I mean, there's no reason not to do this. Well, there kind of is. Right? Ooh, thought sees. Red blast. I can red blast Saint Catherine too. Let's take brainstorm. I'm gonna thought sees. Swords my army. Okay. Does that mean their last two cards are lands? Unlikely. Okay. Take your ponder. Brainstorm. Okay. It's really hoping to find Jace. 
I might just be messing around though at this point. Playing around Dried Arbor with this K command. We'll have stuff to do with our mana for the rest of the game. We don't need to flash back cling or escape cling. We do want to flash it back. We don't want to escape it. I mean, we'd like to, but we just don't need to. Yeah, missing on Jace Reawaken is a little sad. Would have been so cool. Yep. God, it's so nice when you just don't care about up the beanstalk. I mean, they can still draw a card on my turn. Might as well commit another ley line too. This should do the trick. Solitude, Force of Despair. Okay, not bad. Solitude will speed things up. Plenty of time to do this. I'm not just going to force a solitude. I'll take a land drop. Cast Narset. I'm going to take another force. There's no point to play Jace. I already have the freaking Tybalt out, you know. Far away from the point. Masters, okay. I don't think I have lethal here. I took out all my bolts. Maybe I do, actually. Yeah, I think I do. I certainly do. All right, I think we got it. Very cool. Yeah, I'm, uh, whoa, uh, suitably impressed with this card. Uh, I wish I could have brought home the trophy, but Aluren had different ideas. 
I think it's safe to say I'll be testing this again. I feel like it's a little late to change up my plan for MXP, but there is a Legacy 1K after, like a week after that in um, the Seattle area, actually. So I might be thinking about something like this. I think this is very untailored, though. This could see a lot of changes, in fact, coming up. So stay tuned. This is exciting. I'll see y'all next time.